Today we're looking at some frequently asked questions about the Philippines. This is part one, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll make sure that I will add them in part two. The people are extremely friendly and welcoming, and their nature is one of the reasons why many foreigners fall in love with the Philippines. However, just like in every country, there are always good and bad people. A few bad apples don't spoil the apple tree. It's always wise to treat people fairly and have no expectations. Depending on the investment, an investment may be a good idea. As we are on YouTube, I have to say that every topic that we're talking about today is not financial advice. But one would suggest that due to the economic forecast, low capital gains tax rate and ease of access for foreign investment, the Philippines shows evidence that some types of investment may be a good idea. From the latest surveys and data, most Filipinos identify themselves as religious. A large part of the population are Roman Catholics. This is followed by the Muslim and Christian religion. Due to the volatile markets, many wealthy individuals spread their risk by having cash in different currencies, but it's often wise not to exchange all your capital into Filipino pesos. In addition, it's best to keep your emergency fund in a strong currency such as US dollars, Australian dollars, Great British pounds and so on. But looking at the Philippines markets and demand for the peso, some experts believe that growth is inevitable over the next five years. The internet is relatively slow outside of the main cities. If you live inside the city and opt for a strong connection, you will often be able to watch movies and host video conferences. However, the signal is not the best in the Philippines, but developments are being made. At this moment in time, the Philippines is not open for tourism, but on this subject we are monitoring other developments such as some updates that may be pushed through regarding visas. This is being known as the Modernization Act, still nothing has been confirmed and this update is nothing to worry about. Scams Scammers do not target only foreigners. Many scammers also target other Filipinos. Some of the most common scams include romance scams, flipping cash scams, currency scams and real estate scams. In most cases, it can be a good investment, but many considerations will need to be made. For example, some investors buy condominiums to later sell in five or 10 years. But due to the speed of real estate development in the Philippines, it's often much more challenging to sell a used condominium than a brand new one. And therefore, I would say it really depends on your financial goal and your investment strategy. Well, this is a very interesting question because it really depends on what better means. I'm a big fan of both countries, but the Philippines made me feel a sense of belongingness, which is priceless. On the other hand, some expats claim that one of the downsides of living in Thailand is that you will always be seen as a foreigner. But this is only one area to consider when looking at the question. 